Connection. My name is Madison Zaleski, and I am here with Damon Zaleski, who works for Lionsgate. Thank you for coming. Thanks for having me. So, what exactly do you do for Lionsgate? Um, well, I work for a subsidiary of Lionsgate. It's called Debmar Mercury, and we produce television shows such as uh, Family Feud with Steve Harvey, uh, The Wendy Williams Show. We produce sitcoms like Anger Management with Charlie Sheen do a lot of the Tyler Perry sitcoms. Uh, we even work with uh, Joe Roth, who has produced a lot of movies in the past, like Alice in Wonderland, and uh, he did a couple of shows like Are We There Yet? Um, so I, I, my job specifically is um, I take the finished product and then sell them to different cities throughout the country. So for example, each market, there's 217 markets in the country, I'm responsible for about 60 of them, which Chicago's a market, Minneapolis is a market, Peoria is a market. I sell them to the best television stations with the highest ratings because we have advertising in those particular shows. And then I try to get the most money for the show as well. Pretty much bottom line what I do. How exactly did you get started into this business? Uh, uh, it's, it's actually my dad was... Uh, my dad had started Carsey Warner, so he did shows like Roseanne and uh, Third Rock from the Sun. I really didn't want to get into this business, and uh, I, it found me. It just, it's just something I knew how to do. And it's, it, uh, I started working for Aaron Spelling right out of college and started doing television shows like Beverly Hills 90210, Melrose Place, kind of dating myself right now. And then I moved on to Warner Brothers where we saw the productions of shows like Ellen DeGeneres, Rosie O'Donnell, Friends, The Drew Carey Show. Um, and then once that kind of disbanded, I ended up with this boutique company, which is called Debmar Mercury, which is probably comprised some of the, has some of the best and smartest people I've ever worked with. And now we're considered the, the giants of the, of the business. Uh, you mentioned you used to work for Warner Brothers. What's, what's it? What's the difference between Warner Brothers and Lionsgate? Like, uh, well, Warner Brothers is a studio. It's 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 a conglomerate. It's 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 a it's a corporation. So there's a lot of rules. There's a lot of regulations. It's a cut cookie cutter kind of situation. Um, you'll see them every single year. There's the same type of talk shows. The same type of judge shows. Um, it's like I said. It's corporate. There's not a lot of room for independent thinking. I when I moved over to Debmar Mercury, uh, there's only 17 people. I'm one, I was the first, I was the fourth person into the company. So we all decide what we're gonna make, what we're gonna create. We decide if there's a market for this particular program, if, if the advertisers are gonna enjoy this particular program. Um, and it, will it make money in the long run? I mean, we're not, we can't take the big risks that the studios take. Our shows have to work, otherwise we're out of business. So it's more pressure, I work harder, but the freedom, there's more freedom and independent thought where I am right now. Um, you mentioned you used to work for like Ellen DeGeneres and you, you knew the cast of Friends. What was like all that like getting to know all these celebrities you used to work for? Uh, you know, celebrities are, 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 are people. They're just normal people. I know people get kind of weirded out, like I guess they call them fanning out around celebrities. Uh, celebrities, are, like I said, are normal people. They're nice people. Um, Ellen, for example, is actually a really shy lady. She's, she's a creative genius, uh, but she's no different than talking to you or to me. And you know, I spent a lot of time with her launching her television show in around 2004. I went to a lot of her concerts, took a lot of my clients to her concerts, so they could, could get to know their, her. Um, you know, you have to, they, the advertisers spend a lot of money, especially if you're launching a show, and they want to make sure that the talent can do the job. Um, and is in for the long run. It's an investment like anything else. So most of these celebrities, there are, there's, there's an occasional person that's a, that can be a pain, but the majority of them are just normal people that are just trying to make a living. Um, what was like the biggest celebrity you've ever met? 
like you ever worked I with? Uh, I don't know the biggest celebrity. I don't know which. It's it's different for different ages. I mean, I can name out like I, I I'm a big Kevin Costner fan. I, I I fanned out around him a little bit, but uh, you guys probably don't even know who he is. Is there any that we would know? Uh, you know, there's uh, Leonardo DiCaprio. Probably you guys would probably know the best. And that was just on pure happenstance. I'd never actually worked with him. I just was in a uh, in a restaurant, and um, he was there with uh, a couple other people, uh, other celebrities, and we just kind of met up with them. What were you? What were they doing? What were you guys doing when you? Uh, that song I was I was at a Bruce Springsteen concert, and it was an after hours party at with Bruce Springsteen at the Hard Rock Cafe. And he and Robert Downey Jr. and a guy by the name of Chris Kattan walked in and they sat at the same table with us. And this was right after Leonardo was kind of doing his big thing with Titanic. So everybody was trying to get, to, get a hold of him. But nice guy, really, really terrific. Oh, that's awesome. Um, for Lionsgate, like, what was the biggest movie ever produced for the company or TV show or you're most like, proud of? Oh, for what am I most proud of, or what is Lionsgate most Lionsgate. proud of? Lionsgate. Well, obviously, I think the, the whole Hunger Games, um, that was actually a huge endeavor. Uh, John Filtimer, who's our president, nobody wanted that. They didn't know how to make a t movie about kids basically trying to off each other in a, in, in a game. All the big studios turned it down, saying it wasn't going to make any money, and yet this guy had the vision and said, we can make this happen. And I think each one of those movies made over $750 million. So it was a huge investment that paid off in the long run. Um, personally, my, for, for Denmark Mercury, um, getting Wendy Williams launched was my, probably our biggest success. And it was most gratifying to me because you had a woman that was purely a radio talent and she was almost a shock jock, like Howard Stern. Mm. And nobody believed in her. And while a lot of people can negotiate and do things like that, getting people to believe in an idea that's not actually produced yet, that's why I do this business, to get people to believe in the idea. And we worked with her, spent a lot of time with her, and she actually got, you know, the, the advertisers came around, they started uh, spending money with her, and now we're in our ninth or tenth season with the show. So it's, it, I mean, that's, that's what ultimately this, that the whole business is about. Yeah. So you would say that was like the big stepping stone for Lionsgate to what it used to be? Uh, yeah, well, obviously, you know, being purchased by, uh, or for, for Debar Mercury, for, for us, um, being bought by Lionsgate now, which is one of the, the largest studios. I mean, your generation associates Lionsgate uh, with movies more than you do with Universal or with uh, Warner Brothers, which is huge for us because that means we're the up and coming we're the, the studio that everybody knows about. We produce the Saw movies, we produce the, uh, the Divergent movies, the, uh, you know, uh, we've got a really good fan base. And uh, on our side with Debar Mercury, I mean, we've seen a lot of teens graduate. We do Tosh.0 oh, and we do uh, South Park. And we really try to gravitate towards the younger generation because you guys are the future. Uh, where do you see like Lion's Kate heading in the future? Uh, they're, they're diversifying everywhere. Uh, they're really going into the Hispanic market a lot. They're buying a lot of Hispanic, Hispanic uh, cable stations because that seems to be a huge portion of the population and that's what they foresee in the future. Um, obviously the movies, we're looking for new acquisitions. We just bought the rights to, I believe it's called the, um, the Treehouse book series, which we're going to be releasing movies okay. off of that. Uh, they're looking at revamping, no pun intended, the Twilight Zone series. That, you know, so they'll be bringing more vampire movies. New saws are coming out. Uh, so they are looking at, into the future of, uh, of, of bringing new shows. And we've got plenty of new shows, too. We were actually testing. A, uh, it was just announced yesterday. We're going to test a brand new TV series called Eyewitness, which is produced by Judge Judy, uh, Judge Shinelin. It's going to be on the Fox stations this summer for a limited run for six weeks. And if it works, we'll take it on a national, take it out nationally. And if it doesn't, then we took a swing and we missed. Do you think the shows like the Twilight Zone, the Treehouse uh, TV series, like, do you think that will do big for Lionsgate? Well, I hope so. I hope so. That's the whole point of making them. I mean, like I said, we take a lot of risks. Uh, they do a lot of book deals. And I think that with, you know, like, again, 
Twilight series was actually pretty easy. To, it, was, it was the Hunger Games series that was really knocked this, this studio out of the park. And uh, it did tremendously well. Oh, that's awesome. I wish, that we'd, I wish we'd do more. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's, unfortunately, that's all the time we have left. It's hard. But thank you for coming. And um, this is Nikwa Connection. Have a good day, Wildcats.